Rhys, good to catch up. Um, coming back from uh, your injury and played in the last couple of games, um, how good is it to be back? Yeah, no, it's really good. Um, obviously, it's disappointing watch, watching on from the sides. Um, the only positives are that the boys have been doing really well and it's been, it's been good to watch and see them grow as a team. Um, but obviously, I was wanted to, to get back as soon as possible and, and help the boys out. I think it was a bit of a frustrating injury for you, wasn't it? Because it was diagnosed as one thing and then it turned out to be something that would keep you out for a little bit longer. Yeah, um, yeah, it, it was really frustrating. Nothing to do with the, the medical team here. Um, they've been fantastic um, all throughout my rehab, trying to get me back. Um, so, yeah, it was a little bit frustrating when, when it got diagnosed incorrectly. Um, but something I just had to deal with and get on with and... Uh, try and move forward and get back training as soon as possible. In your absence, how would you assess how the boys have been doing? You said that you've been pretty impressed by them. Yeah, I've been, I've been impressed by them. Um, I, I go back into the change room after most games at home and um, speak to the boys and just see what their thoughts of the game are. And um, Most games, they, they've been happy. But there's been a couple of times where they feel like they, they could have done more and I think the gaffer said that a couple of times um, and that shows... We are a good team. We we just need to make it more consistent because I feel like too many times we're we're winning games, but we haven't had our best performances, which which is a good way to win, but ultimately not the way we want to win. It's been a really positive week in two cup competitions as well. The two matches that you featured in. Yeah, um, obviously the the Bristol game was really good. It was brilliant to see Dimmy back. I, I said to him before when we was in the change room, I said I think I've got a feeling you're going to score today. And he come on and scored a winner, which was brilliant for him because he's worked so hard throughout the last year trying to get back fit. And he doesn't even look like he's been out a year. Um, and then FA Cup, yeah, it was, again, an, a, another game where I feel like we, we didn't play our best, but we, we still come out with a win. Um, it was good for me to, to get my minutes and sort of get that blow out of the way, but dust the cobwebs off and... Um, Albeit it wasn't my best performance, but I felt like it was something that I needed to to show show myself the the standard of what I've missed out on. Um, so hopefully I can uh, push on now and um, start training really hard and try and get into that starting eleven. That FA Cup game, and I guess this might work for, for Demi as well. If you've just come back from injury, that's probably not the kind of game that you want to end up playing, is it? When it's just frantic, end-to-end, -end, eight goals. Yeah. I imagine you were absolutely knackered by the end of it. Yeah, it was a typical <laughs> cup tie, wasn't it? Um, so it was... Listen, we, we, we said before the game, don't disrespect the game just because they're a, a, a lower in, in a lower league opposition. Um, they, I thought they were really good. I thought they, they'd, done, they'd done bits that were really well and that affected us. But, listen... It's a cup tie, it's going to be a little bit frantic and thankfully we got the win and we're into the next round. Looking uh, ahead to uh, Saturday's game against Charlton then, it's another home game. We've got a huge run of home games coming up over the next couple of months. Do you think this is a really good opportunity for us to really put a good run of form together? Yeah, it'll be brilliant. I think for me, I feel like I haven't really played at home other than the Peterborough game. Um, so it'll be, it'll be really good to be in front of our own fans, I think they'll give us an extra boost in, in times that we'll probably need it over the next four or five weeks, um, playing some really big teams in this league. But listen, we're, we're not scared of anyone. We, we know what we're capable of and hopefully we can come out of those games with, with a good amount of points. What do you make of Charlton so far this season? Yeah, they've, they've had some good results. We've looked at them, they, they do some things really well and, and some things that we think that we can capitalise on so hopefully uh, we nail those things down over the next couple of days and then when it comes three o'clock Saturday we're raring to go and we take the three points off them. As you said it was, I think there was the, the Peter game you scored in earlier this season yes you played um, on Saturday but how much have you missed playing at home and particularly uh, in front of the big bank when it really gets going? Yeah it, it is brilliant for me I always look back to when I was playing in front of 70, 60 or 70 people and and Scoring in front of the big bank, especially on on that Peterborough day, was it's an unbelievable feeling. And I think w once we are playing well, and the fans can see we're playing well and working hard and doing things, doing things for the team, the atmosphere just erupts, and it really does give us that extra boost um, sometimes when we need it. 